Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're unable to install the XPS Viewer in Windows 10. So if you're having this issue in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you want to do is open up the start menu, type in Windows Features, Best match should come back with turn windows features on or off and go ahead and left click on that. So the first thing you want to do is locate the Microsoft XPS document viewer. So if it's currently checkmarked you want to uncheck it and then select OK. So we're basically going to just be turning it off here for the moment. So once that is done, select close and now open back up the start menu. Again, type in Windows Features. Going back into what we just were in. And now we're going to select the Windows XPS Document Viewer. So we're basically going to be re-enabling it here. And just check mark it and select OK. Okay, so once that's done, select close. And now we're going to go ahead and do one more thing here, and that would be to open up the start menu. Type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now I'm going to have a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it directly from my description. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, left click on edit, and then select paste. It's a DISM command here. Hit enter on your keyboard to run this. It will take a couple moments to run, so just be patient. And there you go. The operation completed successfully. So again, I would suggest restarting your computer at this time, and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.